It's like a, one of those EarthX lithium-ion batteries. It feels like an empty box. You can't believe there's really a battery. This is light. Oh. Lithium-ion battery. No, when you go to pick up one of those lithium batteries, batteries. you're always expecting yeah. to be so heavy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Going like this. Oh, is this just a sample? Is this yeah, is this a sample? sample? Is this just a, a sample? It does say that a lot. It feels it's like a lithium true. version of a propeller. My goal is to have the e-prop in this toy. Yeah. yeah. Um, you looking for more climb, more cruise, smoothness? It's smoothness. That's my, my main goal. So what have you heard? So I heard good things, only great things about the e-prop. So as soon as I heard the, about the e-prop, I call you to have one, to buy one. And uh, everybody's saying that the plane is flying better, especially the Aeropract, flying better, a little bit faster and smoother. Well, today here, we have Larry changing out one of these props on an Aeroprat to an E-prop. Pretty exciting. We've got all the guys here. Okay, so you're going to be the next ones that get the E-props, right? Yes. I exactly. Think so. I think so. I'm exactly. I'm ready. <laughs> and I flew this plane, but I took a look. And because... All right, the aircraft's now 11 pounds lighter. Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat Extra more. bonus. <laughs> Well, it's Christmas morning. Time to open up the e-props. Yeah, they always do a very nice job of packing everything. Oh boy. Some nice uh, blade covers as well. Nose cone, blade covers. Yeah, very nice packing job. So we're going from an aluminum spinner to a carbon fiber spinner. Really uh, a little bit different shape. <laughs> now we've got our hub. And this is a solid carbon fiber hub. Nice. And on the back side is our protractor. That's where these guys ride from the factory in France here. It takes about four to six days for it to arrive, so everything comes DHL very quick. We drop ship everything either here or to the customer. And uh, you notice we've got the color codes on the hub themselves, and that's because the blades ha are color coded. Because even though the blades are very close together in uh, in weight, they're not exactly the same. And this is completely balanced out, and you can see if they've added any weight looks like no weights were needed so sometimes we'll find a little uh, one ounce piece of lead inside of the hub that's about all it ever takes this is a perfect match set and right there you've got a little tiny weight that big in the spinner to balance everything out so that's it very very precise I'm um, holding all three of them even three blades feels like uh, one of the older blades. Uh, this propeller is four and a half pounds. The entire thing? Yeah, I think wow. uh, we'll get on a scale real quick, but I think this is going to be five and a half pounds total with the spinner. But let's uh, put it on the scale and I'll tell you exactly. But uh, not much weight. So we're going to go ahead and grab that scale. Okay, we are all zeroed out here. So this prop should weigh about five and a half pounds or so. Uh, we're going to put the first blade down. We're one pound, just over one pound per blade. I never thought of it that way. Here's the second blade. Oh, it's touching the ground a little bit. Two pounds, and of course the third blade will bring us up to just over three pounds. And now this hub has the built-in spacer, so that's included now, and uh, part of the spinner. You said that's a short spacer. Oh, this is just like Jenga. Oh boy. 5.3 pounds, and the spinner itself brings us to 5.72 pounds wow that's the entire assembly that is all of the hardware uh, that's required and uh, that includes the drive lugs which we actually don't have drive lugs uh, we have drive nubs and so the bolts don't do the spinning um, the carbon fiber is going to lock into that flange nice. uh, propeller drive flange and uh, spin this propeller
Wow. Well, we should wait a uh, warp drive and see how much that bad boy is. All right, let's take a look. I hope my scale goes that high. <laughs> Come around facing the... Uh... Yeah. There's the warp drive. We're already with just this, the three blades, 10.43. Some more hardware. Oops. Jenga. It's rolling off here. And if I keep it on long enough to get a measurement, there we go. We 11. are 11.64. 11. Wow. wow. That's a huge difference. That's over a five pound saving. So one of the things I really love about the ePROPS hub is that all of the nylock nuts are self uh, holding, meaning you don't have to get a wrench on the back side. So you can do everything from the front side. All of these screws get uh, torqued to 11 newton meters. And uh, it's all pretty quick to do. If you've ever had to hold a wrench on both sides, you know kind of what I'm talking about. So this is definitely a lot quicker. And as soon as we get this apart, we're gonna go ahead and throw the blades in there. And you see the colors, the red, the blue, and the green. You can and see now, over here on the end of this, there's a little green one. Each of them are color coded. Let's see if we can pull this apart. I think the uh, leader in the industry as far as uh, uh, lifespan goes on the propeller itself. There it is. And these blades are titanium leading edge. And you notice there's no uh, gap between the metal and the carbon fiber, which really means you don't have to worry about paint flaking off. I run these in the rain frequently. Um, they're very, very good in water. So a lot of the float plane applications, you've seen them on the Icon A5, on the Sea Rays. Um, they just do very, very well with, uh, with water. So this is a red one. We're gonna go ahead and place that into the red. This one's our green, which is, I'm going off of this. So green is over here. And this one must be our blue. And that's our blue. Go ahead and put that in and bring it together. Wow. Yep. And now That's we're just going to go snug. Yep, just snug. And get two bolts in. And now everything's held together. Before I go too tight, I'm going to go ahead and just add what I think is going to be the right pitch. It'll just save me a little bit later. How do you know that? Just eyeballing it. Just Experience. Saves, just saves a little bit of time. If you look at the tip, uh, just add a little bit of angle to it. I, I might be off, uh, you know, but don't start with them backwards where you're having to, to change them 90 degrees. So at least get all the angles kind of going the right direction. And we'll kind of use a star pattern here. Get all the middle ones on the outside. And we'll do all the inside ones now. Not using hardly any torque at all. Just lightly putting them in there just to kind of snug them up a little bit. Yeah, and again, I don't really want these to be tight because we're gonna have to uh, be able to turn the blades to set the pitch. So very, very snug. And this might already be a little bit too snug, but I'm nowhere near the 11 Newton meters of torque. I'm just literally snugging the bolt down. As soon as the bolt head hits, I'm kind of stopping. And then um, I'll go by hand to get the exact tension on the blades that I'm looking for. But I mean, this is just... Wow. Hey, Ty, can I borrow you for a minute? Yes, sir. Come on over here. Uh, just stand behind me. And then I want you to hold this prop for a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> A little lighter, little, huh? Oh my God, he is different. Like a feather. I yeah, think that's well said. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh my it's, God. It's about half the weight of the propeller we just pulled off. So, about half the weight. So, I'm ready to eat more pizza. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the last one was like 20 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have your agent call me. A bit faster, you're on the long haul, you're relaxed, elbow out the window, blah, blah, blah. I'm finding a spot to uh, zero this out on. We've got a couple different choices. We've got one down here on the block. 
I uh, can't get there because the hook's on that side, and you don't want to turn this around this way and then make the 180. That's not going to work for us. And why? Because if you're off two degrees this way, you'll be off four degrees when you spin you it 180. You the fins right here on the engine. That's not a bad one, Dad. All right, so I'm showing two, Daddy. 2.35. I really like that. Use the cooling fins. 2.35, zero it out. And then I was looking for about uh, 22 degrees, 28, 28 degrees. So we've got a little bit to come down on the uh, pitch on this propeller. Now that's a shutdown. Let's see what he has to say here. He just landed, his first experience with the EPROP. Incredible difference. 1150 on climb. What were you getting before? So 900, 950. All right, so tell 200 us about the cruise more. speed. Cruise speed, 10 knots faster. Holy cow. 10 knots, incredible, incredible. What about that shutdown just now? You see that? <laughs> Way louder than I don't have that shaking anymore. <laughs> Huge difference. All right, so the most important part of the whole project, we got the spinner on. Woo! That's going to add yeah. another 20 mile an hour. Oh, that's the fast part. <laughs> yeah. Huge difference. Oh, that's awesome. It so looks like beautiful. Like pounds lighter? Uh, no, it was, uh, we went from 5.7, uh, we, uh, we went from 11.2 down to 5.7. So less than so half the weight up front. Yep. yep. Looking great, right? Yep. Yeah, and uh, you're going to be at lower RPMs also in cruise now also. At the same speed, you'll be at the lower RPM, lower fuel consumption, so it'll be quieter in the cockpit. But uh, my wife's going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you like it. and glad you got Thank the performance. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. It looks beautiful. Yes. Come check out, guys. Looks awesome. Check it out. Carbon looks great on white, right? Yeah. Yeah.